This is incredible. India. Hey there, good afternoon. This is McLeod Garn above Dharamshala, Himachal Pradesh, India, in the uh, foothills of the Himalaya mountains. So, my last video was about my trek up to Triund, up above McLeod Ganj here in the mountains up there. And as I showed, I got back when it was dark. I had wanted to show Daramkot in that video, a village above McLeod Ganj here, just a couple of kilometers away, but it was too late, so... I decided to go back today, probably my last day in McLeod Ganj. I have some awesome plans in the works for the next phase of the Himalayan adventure. Starting tomorrow, I am super stoked for it. If it works out as hoped for, because there are some variabilities as far as like getting into that area, but I think that it should be able to work. But more about that later. So now I am going to uh, get a taxi to Daramkot because it was a little bit farther than I expected last night when I was walking. So I will catch a taxi up there. First, let's take a bit of a look at uh, the temple here. Buddhist prayer wheel. And you can see the uh, amazing, I guess that is Tibetan uh, writing, 1965. So maybe that's when this temple was built. More smaller prayer wheels and then what is this uh, image here I'm going to guess Tibet monks of Gadan Jiangsi monastery blessed with photo session of his holiness the 14th Dalai Lama on 21st December 2019 at Moon God so where in the world is Moon God haven't heard of that but uh, I bet it's an interesting place to visit I don't know if it's around here or in Tibet uh, no thank you you can put it on let's let's see how it looks Oh, that is super warm. It's very warm. And even mine is super warm. You can use this style also. This style also. So you can see them there. It looks good. How much are these? Six fifty. Wow. That's a good price. It's a very cheap price. Can I have a I think it's too big for me for traveling right now. So. It's a lightweight. No, thank you. I have another style. Like, see another style? Uh, not right now. Just a quick question. Do you know Moon God? Moon God, it sounds to backside. You go backside, then go straight down. Oh, it's near here. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, well, thank you very much. Good luck. No, thank you. All right, there you go. Moon God is nearby. Hello. Hi. Whoa. Excuse me. Hello, man. Okay. India is being India. Lots going on. Lots of horns honking. Yeah, I think that path is like 
going to take up too much space in my backpack. Okay, so uh, let's find a taxi to Daramkots. Should be around like 200 rupees, that is two dollars. This might be a taxi driver over here. Taxi? Taxi. Taxi? Thank you. How much do Durham cost? Let's do it. Here, okay. Thanks. He's ready to go, so. How much? 100. 100, thank you. Let's go. Kanabadosh, where food is home. I love the Indian sayings. So entrance to a meditation center, Tushita, Buddhist philosophy and needs for ultimate happiness. All right, look at these uh, paintings. Monkey riding an elephant. Oh, a bird of some sort riding a rabbit riding a monkey riding an elephant okay so uh this is where the rickshaw dropped me off and then i will walk down here into uh Daramkot, as you saw Rickshaws are cheaper than taxis, so 100 rupees is about a dollar and 15 cents or something. Okay, not sure if this actually goes down to Daramkot. Oh, Kanabadosh, that is what we just saw. So the exchange rate for the rupee versus the dollar has shifted a lot over the decades. When I first came to India in 1999 and again in 2006, then it was around 43, 44, 45. Okay, maybe this is not what I want to do. Maybe I need to go up this way, go down the main road. To Dharamkot, this way? Yes. This way? So. The exchange rate was 43, 44, 45, around there, rupees to one US dollar. Now it is like 88, so it has doubled. Of course, prices have also gone up a lot. So despite the uh, dollar strengthening against the rupee, I would have to say that it is definitely overall more expensive now than it was years ago. It has definitely gotten more popular and a lot of places have gotten a lot more built up. This being a good example. I was here in Daramkot in 2012 for the first time and again in 2014 in uh, McLeod Ganj and then explored around. Hello. Pretty good. How's it going? Cool. More construction in the works. So, Daramkot here and Bagsu, the other little village down the mountain, were a lot smaller a decade ago. It is a really cool scene. I like Daramkot better than Bagsu. I think this is a better place to base yourself 
especially longer term than McLeod Gunge. It's quieter, as you can see, these nice little lanes. But lots to do. Yoga, good cafes, Probably music, live music in uh, some of the restaurants, maybe music lessons. I can hear like drumming. So I have no idea exactly what to see around here. So I'm uh, just gonna wander, show you What's going on? I need some new socks. Those are kind of too thick. Those are like muckalucks for wearing in your room when it's cold. Which I should also get. Actually, while I'm seeing them, maybe I should just go for it. Hello. How are you? How much are these? Good, good. Only 300. This one good quality, no problem. There's the other one. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, these black ones. You have more thin socks? Nice, I'm liking the vibe around here. This is really one of those places that you can just stay for a while, just soak up the amazing atmosphere. So I'd actually, uh, been kind of wondering in my past four days in McLeod Gange where all the foreign travelers were because that is actually one of the reasons that I came here was I was just kind of missing the uh, traveler scene of walking around seeing other backpackers adventure travelers that is one of the great things about India is the uh, traveler scene But I wasn't seeing many foreign travelers in McLeod Gone. So I was wondering if like I was kind of too early or too late in the season. But it seems that the reason is this is where they're all staying. I just hadn't really thought about it. I wanted to get up here. And I knew that it was more of the traveler scene. Hello. But I hadn't quite realized like this is where they all are. I'm sure that you could find Rooms here for really cheap. Something not allowed. What isn't allowed? Devi Temple. So, in case you didn't see the last video, then one of the most amazing things to do in this area is the Triuned Trek. 
if you happen to be staying in Dharamkot, you can just start walking from here. Be warned, it is very intense getting up these uh, mountains. If you want to save your legs, then the thing to do is to get a ride with a taxi. I'm not sure if a rickshaw could make it up that road. Maybe they do. But uh, as I showed in the last video, that road is really, really bumpy, like super, you know, rocks and ruts and steep uphill. And I think that is where it dropped me off. But getting there from here is tricky because you have to go back to McLeod Gond, or I guess, no. Maybe you could go from uh, where I got dropped off there, but maybe not. Because we went a different way yesterday. We didn't come up that road. So yes, I think that you would have to go back to McLeod Gond and then go up and around. So you're talking like a 40 minute drive or maybe 30 minutes or something to get from here to there or just hike up there or find the trail if you can find it that I took down after the hike which goes up there somewhere and then it cuts off a little bit of uh, the trail and then you will go around that mountain there and then keep hiking, keep hiking, keep hiking and get to the uh, Triund viewpoint, which is not the top, but uh, it is where most people hike to. And then you get these amazing views of much higher mountains that are behind these lower ridges. Central Point Cafe. So that is one of the other things that was missing for me in McLeod Gange was more of the cool, chill-out, hangout restaurants. There were more of the typical Indian restaurants and then like Chinese food and uh, there were some cool spots in uh, McLeod Gange, but it's a different thing when they make these places that are more catered to the foreign tourists and they tend to have more of like this relaxing, chill out, cool atmosphere and they play good music instead of like typical sort of maybe Indian pop music or something or nothing at all but they create this uh, really nice energy And then you usually have the uh, choice of Indian food and then other options and you uh, meet the other travelers. So, you know, I love uh, experiencing the classic Indian restaurants, but it is also part of the experience and one of the reasons why India is so awesome is because it is popular with travelers and then you get these uh, hangout spots with the other travelers and they tend to be really good places to stay for a while especially if you're a digital nomad get some tea or a lassie or whatever and get lunch and just hang there for a few hours okay I have no idea where we're going but uh, I am really glad that I made it up here to be reminded of what a cool place it is. Okay, now I'm in somebody's backyard. Look at this classic old house. I'm not sure if it's a guest house. Okay, this is still the trail. Oh, this is probably going down to Bagsu, so maybe... I just continue on down that way because 
there wasn't anything that I was intending to do here. I just spent like three hours in a restaurant in McLeod Gange getting my latest video uploaded. The internet wasn't working at my uh, hotel for the past day. Internet there is really fast at my hotel, but uh, wasn't working. So I found uh, this uh, other restaurant in McLeod Gange with pretty good Wi-Fi. But it is so variable. You can have Wi-Fi that looks fast and then it ends up being very slow to upload and then the speed increases and it jumps ahead with the upload. It was doing that and so it just took a while to get that uh, last video uploaded, especially because it was 40 minutes long. So just confirmed with uh, these guys here that this is going to bag Sue. So I think that I will just walk down there, show it again. And so after finally getting that video uploaded, then my plan was to go to Kangra Fort. There we go, confirmation to Bagsu. So the airport that I flew into five days ago was Kangra Airport down the mountain, also called Dharamsala Airport. There is a fort near there that uh, I had come across before. Awesome. Swaraj Yoga Institute and Wellness Retreats. Nice looking place here. Meeting hours. 11 to 1, 3 to 4. Yoga classes, I guess. Look at this. Nice shrine. So you have both Hindu and Buddhist. So after wrapping things up, that was just like an hour ago, then I was going to uh, catch a uh, taxi with the same guy that brought me up there yesterday down to Kangra Fort and just skip Dharamkot. And so I called him and he said, it's kind of too late because it closes at five. So I canceled that plan and then decided to come up here. Now the plan tomorrow might be to get a ride with that guy to Kangra Fort with all my stuff, leave McLeod Gond, and then after visiting the fort, journey onwards and the, uh, Seriously epic Himalayan quest will commence at that point. Not gonna say where I'm likely going yet. I'll see if it can actually happen. I might have to get a permit or something. And it is also getting quite cold in that area. No, I'm not talking about to Ladakh. That might not be possible because people have commented saying that the uh, buses are no longer running for the season. They stopped like end of September or something. And also, foreigners might not be allowed in, or at least through that road now anyways. Like only locals might be allowed to drive the road now. Supposedly. And so I might have to scrap that plan, which is really disappointing because I wanted to do that uh, bus journey from Manali to Leh Ladakh for literally, you know, more than a decade. I was in Manali back in 2014, waiting around for the passes to open so that I could do that. And the pass wasn't opening because of snow, it was spring, so I had to cancel then. So. It will really be a shame if I can't make it this time, but you know, my timing is not great. But uh, there's another route that looks incredible that I am going to attempt. Bob Marley, 
So this is the kind of scene that you find in uh, this area. These places that just have like a lot of attention put into the detail of uh, making these really awesome hangout spots. So seeing the Bob Marley reminded me of something. What a trippy temple. A fish. I guess that's a lion. It's steps going up to the mouth of both that and uh, the fish. Whoa. Can I get up there? Probably I have to uh, take my shoes off, but... Whoa, this place is freaking wild. Okay, let's... Uh, just give it a try, taking the, uh, I actually have the sandals today because it's been so warm. Let's uh, just see what happens. I mean, it's all fully open. Whoa, man, this is just one of the weirdest Indian temples I've seen, and that's saying something. Oh, that's a crocodile. And yes, I think that is a lion. Okay, let's go for it. What the heck, it's like a fun ride. Okay, closed door there. Wow. Just incredible. So I guess that's supposed to be a little fountain. So I'm guessing it's a Shiva shrine. So there you have a Shiva lingam, the cobra, the lion again, cobra eating something. This is trippy. Okay, let's try to open it. I almost walked past this. Thinking, oh, just another colorful Hindu temple. India continues to amaze. Alright, let's uh, shut the door. That's the temple. So I got distracted and forgot to mention that this is Bagsu now. So you can make a cool loop going from McLeod Ganj, Bagsu, Dharamkot, and back to McLeod Ganj, or the other way around. Also, you can start the uh, Triun trek from any of these three points. So it is really just one of the uh, coolest places in the Himalayas with this nice choice of different places to stay. And the just awesome uh, selection of restaurants and uh, shops and everything. Hello. Hey. So, the uh, Bob Marley story, it is a very short one, but uh, my first time in India, then I arrived in uh, Delhi. October of 1999 and I had dreadlocks at the time 
I had shaved my head in 1995 and then let it grow back and didn't cut it since then. So this was like four and a half years later of letting the hair grow. And I had gotten dreadlocks naturally without doing anything at all. Just because I was like living in Hawaii, swimming in the ocean a lot, the salt water and uh, living as a uh, nomad at the time, not of the digital type before like the internet really. Anyways, I arrive in Delhi and an Indian guy points at me and says, Boob Marley. He was like referring to my dreadlocks instead of Bob Marley, Boob Marley. So there you can see Hotel Bagsu View. So this is where I walked along in a previous video to the waterfall that way. Temple Divine Pool. So I'm going to uh, just walk back to McLeod Gond, get this video done, and then tomorrow, another day in the Indian Himalayas should be absolutely incredible. Now tomorrow probably won't result in my getting to the place that I'm going to try to get to because uh, that will take at least probably two days to get there. So, we'll see what happens. Lots more coming from India. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.